Welcome everyone to another video I did not plan to make. Now I realize that some of my videos are a little bit negative and of course already some people said I'm a hater whatsoever but the opposite is true. I love and enjoy when things are really good but unfortunately some things are not good anymore and one thing are of course latest Apple products which I ironically purchased since 2003 or so for using PowerPC with Linux. As I mentioned already many times today I wanted to quickly point out how stupid this App Store nonsense is we developers have to deal with and this is also why I make YouTube videos and get back to more open source because this all this Apple stuff really makes me depressive and I don't want to get depressive with this shit. So the other day we submitted a new update to Apple as we need to submit apps for review here and Apple reviews them. There already happened so much nonsense over the last six or so years that we have a Mac App Store thing here and we do not really want this. We want to sell directly the problems that people expected in the App Store and we lose sales if we are not in the App Store. So basically Apple is simply causing us more work and taking 30% of our profit, making a rich company, a rich bully, even more rich. So today's issue, and I maybe I also point on another issue, but today's issue is we submitted the app like 500 times before and it was rejected. And here's now Resolution Center, one unresolved macOS issue. And here is like legal privacy, data use, and storage macOS and they write here, it's of course a reverse order, so initially they wrote here, we noticed that your app requests the user's consent to access their contacts but does not clarify the use of this feature in the permission modal alert. Next step to resolve this issue, please revise the permission modal alert to specify why the app is requesting access to the user's contact. And they have your screenshot, exact scan would like to access your contacts, allow, don't allow. And the funny thing is we don't have such a dialogue in our software, not at all. We have no, we don't nothing with the contacts. We don't access them, we don't ask for them, we don't send them anymore, we do nothing with the contacts, not a single thing. And so I've never seen this dialogue, I have no idea where it comes from. So I wrote, we do not have code in our application to access the user's contacts, nor to collect any of that information. Our application is purely a professional document scan application. The contact access dialog does not happen on our side when run on latest Mac OS Mojave. Maybe there's something on yours test the site. Some extension application or third party scanner driver. Please advise how to proceed. Best regards, René Rebel. So they respond, hello René. Thank you for your response. We have confirmed that it is your app that is requesting the access. Should you require more assistance with Resolving this issue, Apple developer technical support is available to provide direct one-to-one -one support for direct code level questions. And so what should I do now? I can show you live that this is not happening. So, so we go to this archived apps. Here is the archive of archived builds from Xcode and sort by date. <coughs> so this is exact scan from the other day and we started and it's not asking for any such permission, the only thing. So this is what I was hoping for because the other app, so this is because it's not signed from the app store and this is a test account in the sandbox. So for developers, there's a way to activate applications like they came from the app store. So this was what I was hoping for because not that people tell me this is already doctored built or not that built. Um, yeah, this also happened already the other day. I really hate when this happens. The problem is I have no idea why this sometimes happens. Oh, wait a second, was this even the latest build? Yeah, I also hate when this happens. I have no idea why this happens. Sometimes it happens. Completely annoying. Damn, the other day it worked and after I logged out and in again. And this is this bullshit that we have to deal with. Why can I not even start my own applications? So I logged out and in again. Um, it's also ridiculous that we have to deal with such nonsense. I neither want such review errors. I, by the way, just remembered. I think if I, yesterday I moved it because this is on another volume. Ooh, so this is a new one. I think it worked from the same volume. Yeah, you see, now it works. And this is ridiculous. I get really crazy with this. First of all, this app store nonsense wastes hours of each day of my time. And my brain is full of, I can't start it this way, I need to double click it that way, I need to move it there, I can't start it from there. If I get this strange error, I need to log out again. If I get this strange error, I need to move it to another volume. And 
Have you seen a uh, context dialog? I have not seen a context dialog. I can also, maybe for a test, I switch on a cheap scanner. Usually I have professional scanners. Let's switch on a cheap scanner. P works. Let's hope the cheap MFP works um, with, but maybe not, with old and installed driver. Oh no, it says here printer scanner, no, it says scanner. Oh, what, whatever. Yeah, this is image capture. This is where we prefer our 500 professional scanner drivers. And have you seen a contact dialog requesting permissions to the contacts? I have not seen this dialog. It is not in our software. I know all the hundreds, thousands of lines of code because uh, most of them I have either written or reviewed. And um, I still have not seen this dialog requesting the contact information. And this makes me really frustrated. And then on Twitter, people tell me, you are ridiculous or whatsoever. Do you think Apple only makes this uh, to piss you off? Or I never said this is about me personally. Of course, this is not only happening for me. This happens also for other developers and companies and such. Why is it about me? This is not about me. This is about wasting hundreds of thousands of developers' time and even getting 30% of the company's uh, profits. I rather hire another engineer or marketing person than giving Apple 30% of our profit. They certainly have enough billions. And it's not even about this. For many years, iPhone apps, we do not really make so many apps. So we have four apps of ourselves in there. Of course, I'm also proud that on the Mac App Store lunch day six years ago, when it was, there were only 1,000 apps and three were from us. Of course, I find it outstanding that our small company had three of 1,000 apps in the App Store on the first day. Of course, in the meantime, there are 100,000 apps. I just cannot stand when users say everything is awesome and Apple is the very best when in reality everything starts to fall apart here. We have literally uploaded 100 software updates to Apple, maybe even more in total for all our apps. And every third time, not each time, every third time some nonsense happens. Recently, the binaries disappeared. We uploaded them to the Apple server and they never appeared in the web management interface where you select the binaries. And we had a support request. I will, this video is getting too long now. Maybe I make one day a second video about this. The support was completely hilarious. They answered nothing over and over, asked the same questions that we already answered 500 times. Yes, we uploaded it. Yes, this is version number. We are not too stupid. And then they said, yeah, we should wait 48 hours or something. It can take 48 hours. Of course, in the meantime, we have waited a week. What I mean here is, here is the build selection, by the way, for those who have never seen this. This is a mighty awesome Mac App Store management interface thing here. And here is the build. And I can probably, uh, why is here submit for review rejected, submit for, no, I can send the same. This is also hilarious that I can apparently send the same build to Apple for review a second time. Anyway, how do I get rid of this build here? Submit for review, ah, uh, here, this minus. Okay, so here's this plus symbol. So, and we had some months ago, we had an issue that our builds did not appear here. We uploaded, uploaded, uploaded again and again, and not a single build appeared here. And of course, we're not stupid. We know that sometimes we get an invalid binary warning when some code signature is not 100% the way Apple likes it and such. And no, we did not get a reject notification email. No, we get no other iTunes Connect notification, something on an iPhone or iPad. We are not too stupid to operate this shit after six years. These builds were simply disappearing. Uh, the funny thing is, initially, then Apple did nothing for a week on, and 10 emails and such. They could not help us at all. And then after a week, like, accidentally, we sent a new build, so the 10th build or 20th build, and that one magically appeared here. Then I wrote to Apple to the support incident. Thank you very much. In the meantime, it worked again. Although you helped us nothing, but thank you very much. And then the, the funny thing is, a week or two later, when we wanted to send the next update, it again didn't work. It disappeared in definitely data nirvana there on the Apple server infrastructure. By the way, I wonder what kind of server stuff do they use? Do they use macOS? Do they use Linux? Do they use KVM virtualization? Or, or do they have their own proprietary server virtualization? And then we again had the issue of disappearing builds. Message there again, those support incidents that wasn't closed and not fixed before. I said, yeah, okay, thank you very much. It worked in the meantime, but now it starts again that the builds disappear. And with this, we should work. People tell me Apple is the most awesome and bug-free and everything. I'm just making this up or I'm double standard whatsoever. I do not make this up. And um, what should I do now? I have no, they don't even answer. Why do they not even tell me they could even from a debugger or even maybe activity monitor send us here this sample. You can click here on an app if I would. Oh, we have it here. I still 
So you have exact scan still there. Let's see. Exact scan. Why are they not so clever to send here is information is here and then there is sample. Why why on earth in God's name do they not send us the sample stack backtrace thing here, sample core graph to show us where this dialog appears? Why should I do now detective work and magic guesswork to find out where their magic contact request thing appears that doesn't appear, that's not in our code. It never was in our code. I have even neither an idea nor words where this should be and uh, why we should do it and where it should be. It's, and most likely either they have say, some beta version of macOS that's doing some crazy stuff or they have some extensions installed that is doing some strange stuff or they are using a scanner driver as I suggested. Maybe they use an image capture driver and the image capture driver is requesting this. Um, it's certainly not us but so no, I start to repeat myself. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will just click on build an Xcode and send them a new build and hope for the best. Uh, nothing much else that I can do. This is also not very technically skilled here. Why do they not have Apple review people who can provide the most minimal technical stuff? So I hope you learned something. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And when you wonder why after so many years of software development I make YouTube videos, first of all, all this latest cloud and Apple stuff really makes me depressed. This is not the IT life I signed up for. To some part I also need to do something else. I cannot see such nonsense the whole day. I hope to see you soon. Keep your mood up and don't forget to share, like and subscribe.